even my people you know my people you're knowledgeable people that's the reason why you watch, watch my channel and you're following these magic numbers that keep on scrolling into various places that are deciphering a code where you decipher it you win now because you're knowledgeable people you're aware that there are different types of gin um as am i now i came across a rather um well one i hadn't come across before in fact it was only after i reviewed it and a review that i've scrapped because you're my people and you deserve only the best that i realized that this is a new type of gin it's the dessert gin um and the image will have recently appeared over what's my right shoulder yep that way um trying to get in right there are dessert gins okay i wasn't aware of it i'm there's dry gins there's london dry gins there's navy strength gins um there are liqueur gin liqueurs but a dessert gin is not something i come across so the backwards distilling co um yes distilling co i'm actually getting it right musket gin falls into the category of a dessert gin you can see just the color of this baby um i will take a little sip it's after 10 o'clock somewhere somewhere in the world you're gonna hear the sound of happiness yeah um musket my darling wife reminded me it's actually a dessert wine so just a little bit you can see how far in terms of coloration this has not moved from um, the original um, the grape that's been used okay. yes I just did um, so the, co the color of happiness says yeah definitely my musket grapes have, have been used in this baby the smell of happiness says that what I've got is a functionally a um, jacked up musket it's as simple as that if you drink musket um, as a as a dessert wine um musket generally will top out about i think 16 percent this baby is 41 percent um yeah the nose like i said it's it's it's, it's musket there's nothing else that's got the requisite amount of juniper in it to be called a gin these guys have made it in collaboration with cyan wines and i'll actually put the cyan wines in the write-up so let's we've had this sound of happiness smell of happiness um, yep, I need to turn the noise off. I should have done that before. So let's go for the taste of happiness. Yeah. Basically, I've already given you a product description. Okay. This is just a musket. Um, wine that's had about three times the amount of alcohol whacked into it now because it's a dessert wine uh dessert gin i would well i i actually said initially that um in the first review uh that i would sip this with um okay mix it needs to be a strongish flavor so we're talking chocolate mousse um possibly with a bit of custard um i'm thinking um a christmas cake and my darling wife said oh but hang on that's got a shit ton of brandy in it that you're gonna um you know have too much alcohol and i looked at him and went well darling it will be christmas and um since when have we as people um ever been afraid of a drink or ten so yeah um i would not be whacking it with anything other than a chocolate because with along with musket there's a lot of vanilla um cinnamon it's, it's quite the spicy palette yeah so that's how i do it um it's not really a gin which you can do what i'm doing and that's just sit in a corner read a book and sip this gin it needs to go with a, a full body chocolate dessert as simple as that so thank you people my people um i think next week i'm in negotiations so you'll be surprised as what i am next week um the one thing you
can expect is a truckload of um, summer cocktails because, well, the broadcast for the summer in Melbourne is it's going to be hot, damn hot, and then as hot as a snake's ass in a frying pan. They're forecasting a shocker, which makes perfect gin drinking weather as far as I'm concerned. But thank you, people, my people. Just keep on connecting those numbers into a code. Gotcha. Do, 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 do.